in the case that we have multiple years, I think it's also good for us to get a rolling total. I remember somebody was asking me in the last video saying that, oh, they would love to know more about CTE. So CTE can help us to know like the rolling, rolling total. What do I mean by rolling total? We want to know how that in a particular year, maybe a company made $5,000. Then in the next year, a company made $2,000. A rolling total of the next year would be that $5,000 plus $2,000, that would be $7,000 for the next year to be added. It's just like you're doing cumulative frequency in statistics. You know, you keep adding the next value um, in, your, in your data to it. Yeah. So that's what rolling total is. So what do we do? We have to put this in um, a CTE, common table expression. So we can call it with, let's just call, let's just give it a name called rolling total, right? With rolling total as this table, right? Now we can say select star from rolling. Since it is a bit simple and a bit direct, but I just need you to keep practicing. So we'll still get the same thing, yeah, but what we need a rolling total. So we can just say sum, that's how to do rolling total. We want to sum what the total sales, sum the total sales over, then we can do an order by, we can do an order by total sales, maybe in descending order. And then we can call it um, total rolling, maybe total rolling. Yeah. So let's see if we are on the right track. Good. So we can see that in 2018, this particular, I don't think this song made so much sense. So we can, of course, add to it to give it to round it to just to decimal place and do a round comma two. So decimal this is okay. I have an error. Where's the error? Oops, 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 sorry about that. I was in a round in my, in my city. I was supposed to do a round here, round. Sure. This, this was where I wanted to do that. All right. So this is what we have. It's like something is a bit wrong. Why am I having this number of decimals? What happened in my result? I can't remember what the value looks like now the round. Let's confirm what is going on. Okay. So why do we have the round and it's giving it an extreme value? What happened? Round this into two decimal places. Hmm. Interesting what is happening here. Okay, I want to try something. I've honestly not, not thought about this before, but let's see. I've not tried it before, really. Oh, wow, it worked. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. So that also works. It's good. I've not tried to actually round my my um was it called my window function before. But yeah, so that's said and done. But I'm surprised as to why the rolling total is having more round figures. But anyways, we can make progress. Um okay, I think enough is enough on the sales trend analysis. Let's move to business partners, right? Mm. So business partner is asking us, 
how many business partners are there in each uh, partner role? Do we really need to do this? Let's do. Let's see. I think this is too basic. How many business partners are there for each partner role? So we need to check. There's a table called business partners. Yes, here. So let's do a select star from business partners before we get done. All right, so for each partner role, so we need to look for the partner role and then count star for each of the business. Remember your goodbye function and then we have to do a goodbye partner role. So I said good, good guy. Okay. I can call this um, number, maybe number of partner or something. All right, so for partner road two, we have six business partners. Um, okay, number of this, yeah, number of business partners, right? Makes more sense. So for business, for partner row two, we have six business partners, and for partner row one, we have four business partners. Hmm. Interesting. All right. The next question, and I actually know that our time is fast spent. Should I do this? Um. Okay, let's leave that because of our time. Um. For employee analysis, should I do, find the number of employees for each sex or at least the number of employee who has, we can do the two just to, but time is fast spent. So at this point, guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel and you are learning this much, it's not good. Please subscribe to my channel and let us grow together. I would appreciate. And please, if you have any question, probably when you're trying to solve your own, you have more questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be there to respond, please. So, question I think is find the number of employee for each sex, the number of employee for each sex. So, now we need the employee table, right? Select. I want to ensure that I'm able to touch all the question, right? And use all the tables if possible. Select that from employee. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Now we need the sex. And then we need the count. This question is quite basic. So that's what I was thinking of myself as number of employees. And then I have to do it group by sex. Okay, so it says that in this record we have 10 male employee and we have four female employee. Why, why do we have less female? <laughs> Don't mind me, but yeah, it is what it is. All right. Here is another question. This question says, List the employee who have W in their first name. Okay, so select star from employee, still employee, yeah. So basically we need a where clause, where first name was, so first name is name first, I think. Where name first, so we have to use like, like W. So because he says, who has W in their first name? Who has W in their first name? So W could either be from the beginning, like in the middle or what, wherever it is. So because of that, we use the percentage sign. So it's saying that W can start, W can end anywhere, just look for letter W in the name. So what field we can look, we can just look for the um, employee ID and maybe we can get, um, we can get the full name, right? 
So how do we get the full name? Let's just do, we need, we need the name first and the last name. So we want to concat the last name and the first name. So we do like a concat, concat, name first, right? And name last, right? So what do we want to do in the middle? We want, we want to have um, space, basically. Yes, just give space between the two names. And then we have to name it as, call it as full, let's call it full name. I think that makes sense, right? Perfect. So it says that employee ID 00004 as Williams, Moussen, and this person also as Vika. So you can see that that we have W in their name in the, in the, what's it called? It's in the first name and it's the first letter of the name. All right. In what way could this be very relevant? Not only as a data analyst, even in data migration. Um, in my experience as a data migration specialist, you still request like only migrate data, only migrate records where this particular thing is costed this, you get, or where the billing status is this, or something like that, or where the company code cost this. So most of the time there's always a condition. So they'll say, oh, these data are only in scope if these company code cost this, or if plant code cost this, those are the terms in SAP system. So you would begin to hear those things, billing. Um, also my experience in telco, we use billing, right? So these are the things, terms you get to hear. So you use like to filter, the conditions. All right. Mm, so let's just do one more. So many interesting questions. So I would implore you, please go to the link and it's on my GitHub. So you'll find the list of all the questions. Please try, ensure that you try them. Ensure that you try them. Okay. So let's do this one. This one's combined data from multiple data tables. So I, I, I am very much interested in also doing this. Let's see. So this is gonna be our last question. Please, again, if you've watched this video to this point, you are the real MVP. And if you have not subscribed now, it's not good. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel and let us grow together. All right, so let's do the last question. It says, select the least, select the top five employee who created the most sales order. So, what was the first table? Top five employees. That's the first table who have created the most sales orders. So let's go. So we do like select star from employees. Let's just call employee E. Right? And do a left join. The next table is sales order. Right? I call it S. I call it S. So here we would say that. Um, um, so we need to do like on right E dot. I don't even know which table has equal um common field, but let's see. The in employee table, we have the employee ID. <clears throat> employee ID basically. We also have the address ID that's on the employee table. But let's look at our sales order. In our sales order, we have the sales order ID created by, oh, okay, I think that created by, this created by means the person that created that sales. So that's like, if you check the employee ID, okay, let's, let's, let's just check it out. Employee ID, 001002, you know, let's check the sales orders and check the created by. So 001, 002, 003. So these are the things you would see, right, in your created by. So that created by is also the employee. Created by is the employee. Let's see if there's another table we can use. Sales order, sales order item currency. No, we cannot use that. Okay, so we have one already. So we can do 
from the employee table, we have the employee ID, which is the primary key. Employees. Yeah, it's right. Employee ID. Remember, I said it is what created. Sometimes, it's not all the time, you have the fields in the two table bearing the same name. Sometimes it could be different name, but of course, most times you will see the configuration of your table and like the table descriptions, what the feeds, what the feeds mean. So you see those documentations most of the time. So yeah, created by, right? So we need to do, okay, so let's select this, let's query this and see what our result is gonna be like. Oh, great. So these are, these are our result. So we need the top five. Of course, we know that. Um, so who created the most sales order? So I believe that we need to get the sales order ID, sales order ID together with uh, the count, the count of the number of sales order that has been made. If I'm right. So with that, we need to now do a group by group by sales order, sales order ID. We also need to give this one a name, right? We can call it as, let's just call it total sales. Okay, so, so if us to not get the top five, we need to also add an order by statement, order by close, I mean. Other by what now? Other by the total sales. Sending order, right? And then put a limit of five, right? So we have the top five. So each of them just did one, one. Total sales, one, one. Each did just one, 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 one. But I think it will make sense if we not have, um, I think rather than this, because what the question says, we should get the list of top five employees. So I'm thinking it's supposed to actually be employee ID, right? Yes, employee ID. I think it should be employee ID. So of course that means our, uh, um, condition is also going to, our group by class is going to change. Ah, so sales order was even called the one causing the problem. I see. So it says list of top five employees who have created the most sales, right? So these are the employees, see? It says this person created 49 sales. But I think it would make sense if you can at least have the names of the employee, right? What do you think? That's just me thinking. So let's see, we can also get the, the names, right? The names of the employee. Okay, so we can just, um, so let me put the alias, e dot employee ID and also maybe their full name. So I'll just copy what we have here yeah, as the full name. All right, I think it's gonna give an error. Yep, it says that select list is not in group by class. So we also need to group by the full name. Good, so this person created for, so is this Williams, Moosen has 49 records, you know. So yeah, it makes sense if you can actually use this for analysis, you know. So yeah, I hope that we've gotten something from this particular video. I hope you learned something. I hope I've, you've been able to learn one or two things, really. We've done a lot, quite a lot. So. Um, this will be the end of this particular video. 
and I please this is me begging <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up if you have really learned from this video you can also recommend it to your friend please let's grow together as we are growing and being encouraged to also continue to do more it shows that we are learning and you know that's my my aim and the purpose is to allow others to also learn from my my own little experience which i know that Yes, many people are learning from it. So please don't hesitate to share it with your people. Thank you and God bless you. And I'll see you in my next one. Let me know if you want me to do a particular thing, like maybe on city, on window functions, whatever you want me to do. Just let me know. You can put it down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.